Hi everyone, a new massive speed improvement just dropped for WAN and I want to show it to you in action. If you're using my RunPod template, simply redeploy and it, the workflow will already be there. If you're not using my RunPod template, I have no idea what's wrong with you. There's a link in the top right, just click on it and stop downloading models on your own and doing all the setup and all that. It's just boring, takes away your time and RunPod is much easier. Anyways, um, Click connect after you deploy the pod, click on Config UI. I already did that. So in Config UI, go to the left side on the workflows icon. All the workflows should already be here. Now we're focusing on the new self-forcing LoRa today. This is the name of the new LoRa. I'm gonna focus on text to video in this, um, in this tutorial. So let's do that. Uh, let's close the, the menu. And now, if you've used any of my workflows before, you know that they are linear and they go from the left to the right. So let's start from the left side. You got the model loaders right here. If you're using the template, you don't have to set everything up. It's already done. So if you're not using the template, I will leave a link in the description. Just download all the models. Next up, we got the LoRa loaders group. Now, the first thing, the star of the show, the self-forcing LoRa, make sure that you're not change it other than changing the strength. I know that some places recommend to put the strength at one. I found 0.7 to be the sweet spot in terms of quality. So make sure to experiment and see what works best for you. And I also added three LoRa's, uh, three optional LoRa's right here with a small caveat that you cannot bypass those LoRa's, do not bypass them. If you want to unmerge a LoRa, simply change the strength to zero and it will be ignored in the workflow. Next up, set up your prompts, of course, and set up the size and frames. Now I'm using an H100, I realize that, uh, sorry, I understand that not everyone uses an H100, some may use 5090s, some may use 4090s, some may use a A100s. In general, it should work for you. If it doesn't work, there's a few options. If you get into, if you get memory errors, there's a few things that you could do. You could first of all lower the resolutions to let's say 832 by 480. That's a possibility. But I like to generate at 720, especially when it takes a minute. You can also um, apply some quantization. You can go with FP8, E4, FP8, E5. E4 looks a bit better. Uh, E5 is a bit faster. Uh, select whatever you like, experiment, see what works for you. Um, and the last thing that you can do is also remove the number of frames. 81 frames will generate five seconds of video. Um, you can go higher. Uh, this is a question that I get asked consistently. When has a context window of five seconds, meaning that anything above 81 frames and when loses its context. Your mileage may vary with the final result. I really recommend to not go over 81. Now let's start the generation and I will talk about the sampler in the meantime. Now, a few main changes from the main sampler settings. First of all, the amount of steps. If you usually use 20, 30, 40 steps, you can now use anywhere from three steps to six, seven steps. I found six to be a sweet spot. CFG has to be fixed at one. And the shift, I like to have the shift at eight. You can of course change that. And the schedulers, I experimented with some different settings. I found LCM to work very well and produce very realistic results. If you want um, animated cartoons, you would have to experiment and see what works for you. And also I found that the UniPC and UniPC beta also works quite well. But like I said, I like the LCM. Now, the most amazing thing about this new improvement is that videos now generate in a minute. On an H100, of course, but if you use a 5090, it will take two minutes, two and a half minutes. Let's wait and see. In just six steps, we get a beautiful video, 63 seconds. Guys, this is something else. Let's wait for the first video, 16 FPS. Let's give it a few seconds. And there you go. You get the, the first vanilla video in 16 FPS. For some reason, it's acting up, but there you go. The first vanilla video at 16 FPS. I know it doesn't look very good for YouTube, but believe me, I'm watching this at my screen. This is absolutely amazing. And 
you will also, of course, have frame interpolation to 60 FPS. And this just means that in less than two minutes, you get 720p, 60 FPS video. Guys, what a time to be alive. Let's wait for it to finish. It actually downloads the model. It's just it's the first time running, so it will take a few seconds. Um, guys, this is absolutely amazing. I, I'm lost for words. Uh, that's the workflow from start to finish. If you've already used any of my workflows, you should feel right at home. Uh, nothing new has changed. I just wanted to show you the new uh, LoRa. Uh, I can see the final 60 FPS video right here. This is absolutely amazing. If you have any questions, any concerns, anything that you want to raise, you can reach out to me on Patreon. You can find me on my Discord server. It's quite active, to be honest. Um, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like, share the video, do all that, subscribe, do all that mumbo jumbo. Thank you for watching. Take care. Goodbye.